Hello everybody, welcome to this video. Um, don't mind the short hair that is no longer shorter and like in, in desperate need of a, of a coloring, but quarantine, all staying at home safely, hopefully. So, um, yeah, I ordered some new makeup whilst being at home because it is super sunny weather and then I enjoy a little bit more of a like is she wearing makeup is she not so I always heard everybody talking about the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer um, cream that they use as like that effortless like modeless skin um, type of thing so I ordered mine in porcelain and it came in the mail yesterday so I really wanted to try it out because um, for some time it's just fun if you want to throw something on to look like a little bit put together but not too much when you're like hot and in the sun all day so that you want to look like hmm you know what I mean I also ordered a uh, liquid NARS blush and this one is in the shade Luster and I really wanted to use these two products and put them to the test today and I am going to use them with products I already know how they work so that I can see how this covers, wears and all of that. Okay, so let's get to applying. So as I said, it is the Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free um, tint moisturizer, of course, by Laura Mercier in the shade Porcelain. Um, this lightweight formula helps control oil breakthrough and gives a sheer hint of color for a healthy and natural glow. It provides ideal protection from the sun's harmful and damaging rays with a broad spectrum of um, SPF 20 sunscreen. Perfect for all skin types, especially sensitive or oily skins. Well, I don't have an oily skin. I have a normal to dry skin, but we'll see. Uh, the technique applied to skin with Laura's foundation sponge. A tinted moisturizer with a sponge? I don't know about that. Or uh, with fingertips, layer for additional coverage. I am not a big fan of using a sponge with a tinted moisturizer because it takes away the coverage, so I am going to um, apply it with a brush on one side. This is my, um, actually I've lately been going back to this brush. I really, really love it because it's just like the right size. This is the buffing brush by Real Techniques, and maybe I am going to apply the other side. Not really with a sponge because I'm a little bit too lazy to get up and wet me sponge but I'm going to use a Tati Beauty um, puff for this side and we'll see so yeah um, I don't really prime my skin it, it actually also says to use it on clean skin and I on a daily basis when it's just like a quick no makeup makeup look don't really want to use primer and I want to see how this product performs on its own so I don't really know how much, so let's see with the brush. Oh yeah, and by the way, so it has SPF 20 in it, but that's <laughs> not enough. I do um, usually put an SPF underneath my foundation because I always apply an SPF 50 because it's like the best thing that you can do to protect your skin from aging and all the damaging things so yeah that's what i usually do it's good that it has some fpf but you know what i mean more is more okay so this blended in super easily and wow okay so not a lot of coverage Obviously, but didn't expect that because it's a thin moisturizer, but it does something <laughs> As you can see 
I, I do have a feeling that it oxidizes a little bit. It's not as light as it came out of the tube. Like if you see that next to my skin, mm, a little bit of an oxidation, but it's fine. It actually matches me pretty okay. Um, you can still see like some redness peeking through here and some of my um, marks where I had some spots. So. But I didn't really expect it to cover it because the lip moisturizer not out of coverage, so I didn't expect that. You can still see some of my freckles through it, but it is really looking like there is not really anything on my skin, which is great for the look that I want to go for. So yeah, 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 yeah. You can see, I think, a little bit of a difference. The side with nothing on, the side with tinted moisturizer. It just looks a little bit more even, you know. Going to take the puff. It is uh, a little bit more on the pricier side for a tinted moisturizer, I think. But if you don't need a lot of product and it looks this good, I might actually like it <laughs> a lot. Plus, I don't typically use this during winter time or these kind of products. This is more during the summertime when, like, you know, freckles are showing up and skin is looking a little bit more better and more clear because of the sun. Even though you have to protect your face from the sun, it does brighten my face up a little bit. So, that's the time that I usually love these kinds of products because my skin is looking a little bit more healthier and better than during the winter time because then my skin is a little bit more on the dull side okay i don't really think that i see a huge huge difference between the two sides let me let me um really go close up to my mirror be right back with my thoughts yeah, I don't think that I see a huge difference with the side of the brush, uh, the side of the brush and the side of like the toffee spongy thingy. So I'm going to see if I can layer it up just a little bit and I'm going to go in with the brush on both sides for that. Just like a little, little, little bit. Go a little bit down the neck because uh, no harsh lines, please. Okay, I think that you can layer it up a little bit, but it doesn't make like a huge, huge, huge difference. Plus, I think if you like buy a product like this, well, actually you can see that I've layered it up on this side a little bit. Which is nice if you want some spots that need a little bit more coverage. Like for me, you can see that I have redness down here, which ain't the cutest look i want blusher down here but not blusher on the bottom half of my face but you know it did cover that pretty beautifully and it's not because i have layered product up that it starts looking cakey or this or, or something bad it still looks pretty good and like skin but as you can see if i'm going to layer a little bit more product here how much it oxidizes okay so this is how my skin is looking without anything else, no concealer, no nothing, just the tinted moisturizer. So far so good. Now I am going to apply concealer and my um, cream bronzer and I'll be right back to test out the blush with you guys. So yeah. Okay. Um, I have some concealer. This is the Instant Anti-Age Eraser from Maybelline and my Chanel cream bronzer that you saw me using. So, it layered on top fine, blended super easily. Uh, my skin doesn't feel so tacky anymore. So I only have cream products on my face. So the tinted moisturizer, concealer and cream bronzer. And now we're, go we're going to go in with the NARS Luster Liquid Blush. Let's pray this works out. It says to shake well, so shakey, shakey, shake. 
I do really enjoy the packaging of it. It just looks so sleek and so oh, satisfying, but I am also a little bit afraid of leakage because it, you have to like put it up a little bit and then you can twist it and then you press down to close it entirely. But since it is such a liquidy product, I don't know how I feel to travel with this. It just drops off pretty easily on your hand. And then if I am going to shift my hand, it starts running down pretty easily. So it is quite liquidy. I'm just going to take some on my finger and start dabbing it to see how well this goes. Oh yeah, it blends super easy. I really like the peachiness of this shade. Like this is super peach. If you don't like peachy thumbs, this is not for you. Blended in super easily. Is a little bit more on the matte side. This side I am going to go in with my brush and see how this goes. I do think it's a blush that you have to work not super fast with but it's not like you can place it there and wait to blend in because it does dry down and once it has dried down it isn't the most movable I think I like this side more than this side because this dilutes it a little bit more to a natural thing and this is like blush overload maybe that's me because I've used too much but I am going to build this side up a little bit more to be a little bit more even with this side. This is the shade blended out on my hand and I really like it. I am a lover for um, all the peachy blushes so of course I had to pick the peachy tone because I know that this is a blush that I would wear. That's the blush. I am looking very very blushed way more than i would usually apply so i do need to get used to that a little bit but you know this side was better before i applied more to match this side so conclusion it is a very pigmented product you need the smallest amount work one cheek finish it then the other because it does dry down and once it has dried down it isn't the easiest to move but if you do it like one cheek one cheek it is super easy to blend in with other products it doesn't lift any other products it just blends beautiful in and if peach isn't your shade they have like a lot of other shades i think okay so i am going to finish up the rest of my makeup and i'll be back to share my final thoughts and how everything blended on top of this base. Okay, so I didn't add any more powder blush just because I want to see how this wears. All I did was add a hint, a itty bitty tiny bit of powder bronzer and of course highlight. I put in um, this Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Gel. And something else that I wanted to test is if I can use a little bit of this on my eyelids for like that super monochromatic look just so that it's a hint of color on the eyes that matches the blush shade but nothing like makeup -y, you know because we're going for that I'm wearing makeup that is still natural not really but in my head this is natural so yeah, I really wanted to test this out. I am at first going to show you how my skin is looking right now. I am really liking it. Of course, after putting um, powder on top of it, it looks a little bit more makeup-y. But I just wanted to set like this area and a little bit like the center part of my face because longevity, you know? No, I just wanted to see if this 
stays longer with powder. I haven't powdered here. Of course, here on top of the blush is there also no powder. Here, like the smallest amount and highlight. So that's it. Now I am going to take this. Oh, which brush? Where are you? And I think I am going to try and take it on a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush just because this is a little bit of like um, a thicker and more dense round brush that quite nice for eye area for cream products on eyes so that's why I like this because all these brushes would be way too fluffy to apply it you need a little bit of a brush that's a little bit firmer so let's try this on the eyes and I have no primer, nothing on my eyes, again, because it's for the easy, quick look. Going to take, I don't know if you can see that there, a little bit on my brush. No primer or anything like that, just because I wanted to see if this will last, because my oilets do tend to get oily um, during the day, so... As you can see, this blends out to something super, super natural. You almost wouldn't tell if you can't see the difference between the two eyes that I have like product on the eye, but it makes everything look like monochromatic. Like the eye picks it up without really even noticing it's there. So yeah, again, it dries down, but it gives a hint of peach color which I am not made about. If this will last good without having to use primer on my eyes, this is going to be so nice because on that day that you really want to be quick and multi-use products for a really quick and fun, natural, easy look, this is going to be great. A little bit dry on my lips, but that's because my lips are dry, so can't blame the product for that. But I would still have to look into it if it's even safe to use on the lips and the eyes, actually, because it doesn't really say it on there. So I'm gonna have to do some research for that. But if it is safe to use on the eyes and lips, it does give the lips a tint, but they I really love the blush i love the shade of it but that's just you know personal preference i like that it's a matte so that you can choose if you use it more during winter time i did see that they had also some shimmery shades but um i like the fact that this one is matte so that i can choose if i want a little bit of a glow on top i can use like a blush topper or a little bit more highlight and if i want to go for a little bit of a more matte look i can still do that so that's great and then the tinted moisturizer i really love because it still looks very natural and skin like but it has a decent coverage which i appreciate and you can layer it so only one layer will give you like really just tinted moisturizer vibes but if you layer it up it just looks still like skin if you use light layers on top of each other and it gives you like a little bit more coverage in the areas where you build it up so really really nice that's oxidized a little bit so keep that in mind i really love this look this is like my go-to favorite summer look if you really want to look like fresh and juicy and young and peachy and all that kind of stuff but yeah i am really really enjoying this look okay so if i remember right now it is noon it is time to fill my belly but um if i remember i am going to do checkups to see how well it wears Okay, here's a check-in for you guys. Um, my makeup has been on for almost seven hours now. And, like, it has held up pretty nice. I did get a little bit oily 
in here but that's also because i didn't really use a lot of powder so i think that the blush has lasted beautifully even on the eyes it is a little bit oily but you know it's still there it's still and it isn't as oily as my lids with nothing on them so it gives it tint it makes them pop a little bit more and it's still there so yeah still going strong um this is probably going to be the only update because right now i am going to do a little workout and after that my face is going to be not camera friendly um i am going to be so red and so sweaty and probably have wiped off half of my makeup because workout i think the coverage is still there because you have to keep in mind i didn't use any powder other than in my t-zone and even then a very light layer of powder so to have nothing there to keep it in place i think this product has lasted very beautifully it has only been seven hours but if it still looks this good i think um, we can all agree that this is a good tinted moisturizer and a good blush and it says a lot when your boyfriend comes home from work and says wow your makeup looks good today honey so that happened so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and bye!